we are seeing generative ai is uh, like you know everywhere and service now is also looking forward and integration integrating with the companies but uh, i have something different question with company perspective it is good but uh, do the developers need to worry about their roles because it is started but i don't know where it will go uh, so do we need to worry it's a question not for me but for all the other developers who are joining service now and working on it so how no, I, long yeah, I, uh, generative ai go i don't see it that way i don't see generative ai as a threat to developers i should see it as an accelerator uh you know it, when i started my tech career way way back decades ago think of it this way there were only a few community forums where i could get the answers uh tech support was done directly from the companies it was phone calls you would only get return it was it was very slow it took a long time to get your work done i mean as a developer if i ran into an issue or a bug or something it was slow to get that now we have stronger communities faster communications better online resources. And this is only going to accelerate with generative AI. Think of it as that next level of support for the developer. Get your answers quicker. I saw some of the capabilities in our Vancouver release, uh, just looking at text to code. Now, I've been coding for over 40 years. I like coding. I don't like spending a lot of time going to stack overflow or something looking for how do I do something? If I can ask a generative AI to give me a leg up on that, instead of spending an afternoon saying, how do I get the width of the end user's browser? Are they mobile? Are they tablet? Are they desktop? Are they ultra wide? What, and, and, and store that information. I saw one of our, our solution consultants went into a client script, slash, slash, give me the width of the user's agent and do something with it. Boom, there was about eight lines of code. That would have taken me a long time to get. Like, what a time saver. So it removes some of that, what I'm going to call grunt work, you know, the, 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 the low level stuff. When you design an application on ServiceNow, you're not worried about debt, down deep SQL queries and CSS and HTML layout. It's like, just get me a field, put it on the table, much like that. So you, you, you get away from some of that <clears throat> basic stuff. And now, you know, as you scale it out to you know, text to code, text to flow, we're, we're looking at doing text to app where somebody can describe what they want out of uh, an application in App Engine and it just frames it up for them. That's a whole lot faster. You know, I, I don't want to spend time doing that front end stuff to get to my goal. If it can help me get there quicker, I'm all for it. And again, this is the old man talking who's usually resistant to some changes. <laughs> it, it, yeah, right. it, it, it also solves those problems that developers wouldn't even be able to tackle. So you, know, you think about the, the VP of customer service talking with a customer. Uh, you know, you've been working on a case. I'm, I'm thinking about case summarization, right? You've got all these details and the activity history is on this case. And the VP of customer service says, what's happening here i've got a call with this customer in 30 minutes they're not going to sit down and go through the last 10 cases that this customer opened you want that custom cus, the case summarization right at their fingertips so hallelujah where was this when i was the service desk manager you know, 10 15 years ago right so we can say that generative ai is a kind of friend which is eliminating all kind of you know unnecessary stuff and giving me the thing which I want. And with some tweaks, it will be very helpful for us. That's it's like having your own, personal, uh, your own personal admin assistant, if you want to think about it that way. You go do the hard work, I'll focus on the important work.